Hi everyone, I'm Fiona and today we continue on with the manual conversion. Today we're actually going to start installing things, starting off with the pedal box. Alright, so this is my brake and clutch pedal. I've picked up some secondhand parts. What we've got here is, this is the brake pedal. The actual brake pedal itself. Um, but also the little frame that it swings on. And we've got that for a very simple reason. Getting the pedal out from the frame is a crap ton easier out of the car. So it's just simply easier to pull the whole lot out and swap the whole lot over. Also, of course, clutch pedal, clutch pedal, brake pedal. This one, again, it's got the whole assembly there that bolts in. You might also notice we have a clutch pedal switch. That's very important if you have cruise control like I do. Now also we have, this is the standard Supra Clutch Master. Some people might recognize that. We've also got the hard line that goes with that. But we're not actually going to use those two. I did get them, but uh, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to actually go for a different clutch master. This one's out of a Land Cruiser. It's got a larger bore, which gives a stronger response on the actual clutch. Okay, so this is why we took out the seat. So I can assure you it's so much easier to climb in and climb under the dash from the inside. This is why we took the seats out. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to dive under the dash. And you can see we've got our brake pedal. And that runs down and up where it's connected up here to the master brake cylinder. So we're running up the pedal. We've got our little connection here. And then you can see when you're pressing the brake pedal, that presses your master brake cylinder through your firewall up in here. So we're going to disconnect that. And then to get the brake pedal out, we could disconnect it up in the hinge up higher. Up in there, there's that bolt. You can see it just runs across the top of the brake pedal there, that's what it's swinging on, or we can actually just pull out the whole assembly so that we can just swap that over. There's this rod here. Oh, let's see, that's connected. And behind the rod down here, just behind, sorry, in here, I'm trying to show you there, there's a nut behind there which you need to undo so you can slide the brake master forward. But to get to that nut, you need to loosen a bolt up at the other end of this line and when you loosen it it only allows you to move it so far without removing it completely there you go so can you see that there's a there's actual nut hiding behind that little arm i don't know why that's there i won't be putting it back that way that's a just a real pain to get out With those four nuts out, well actually there were five because of that extra one under there. With that done, 
the brake master cylinder, which is on the other side of that, can come forward. And uh, we've got some hard lines here, so we don't need to move it far, but we're just going to give that a bit of a pull just to bring those threads through a little bit. Let's create a bit of clearance there. Don't need to go too far. That should do it. Now with that pulled forward, you can see those bolts are missing now from those four and the little actuator is retreated, which is good. We should be able to now pull out that assembly reasonably. Have a go at that, eh? Alright, there it is. Brake pedal and brake pedal. You can see they're the same mounting bracket wise, just a different lever arm and a different pad. Plus, the brake pedal in mine has a blue switch, whereas there's a brown one on this one. The brown one, if you look in the end, you can see it only has two lugs, whereas mine has four. And the reason is because of that cruise control. So I'll swap that over and then we'll put that back in. Alright, so we now have a brake pedal. All we really did was make it smaller, but that took hours. That really did. What a painful job that was. Never mind. Now we move on to the clutch pedal. Now the clutch pedal, as you might see, has a few parts of the rubber insulation there that have either been removed or are about to be removed. Um, they're prefabricated from the factory so you can see up there this one's gone but this one needs to come out that's not really a big job it's just out she comes and then you can see the little black rubber grommet up there grommet needs to come out Just pull it out with your hand, not very hard. Alright, so up under there you can see where the clutch master connects through to the pedal. And you can see the little marks where normally they would have punched out the firewall for the bolts. We need to drill those out. So I'm going to get a hammer and a punch. I'm going to give it a knock and then we'll get a drill bit onto that. Alright, so I have now uh, placed in the clutch pedal, the hole lines up, I don't know if you can see that, for the, for the clutch master there. It's just placed in, there's one bolt holding it on up the top, it's very hard to see and uh, not very easy to get to, but it's right up the top there, it's just holding it in at the moment, it's in loose. So the next thing to do is to put the clutch master through. Okay, so up here you can see the, just through the hole there. You can see the clutch surround is sitting there. We've got our holes drilled out. And so we have the clutch master I'm using now. 
You may notice the spout on this is fairly straight up, whereas the Super One goes way over forward. And uh, that is a problem for clearance, so we're just going to put on a couple of thick washers like that, just four of them should be enough. Alright, so we've hit our first major snag. <clears throat> Turns out that the, uh, the uh, car I bought these parts from obviously wasn't running a stock turbo um, because the clearance on the side of the clutch master um, is, is very much hitting the, the back of the turbo. So uh, the exhaust manifold is, is right through that region. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to use that because there's no way around it. Um, whereas the stock Supra Clutch Master will work just fine because it's uh, basically still a stock car. So I'll have to use this one instead. So there we have it, we've got three pedals now instead of two, clutch and brake pedals both done and of course up top we've got our clutch master cylinder. Alright so pedal box done, clutch, brake, clutch master. We didn't get the uh, Land Cruiser clutch master in, it didn't fit. the. The lines uh, come out on the side next to the turbo and that's not going to work. Um, obviously the Supra that it came out of um, probably had a single turbo in it and therefore a whole different manifold. But, uh, I'm still running the stock twin so I'm going to have to go with a stock clutch master for now at least. Uh, we'll work out the rest later but either way that's the pedal box done. That was a uh, very frustrating night, a lot of really hard to get bolts, a really, lot of really hard to um, access bits and pieces. I had to use all sorts of different spanners and bendy bits and all sorts of weird things just to access them. It literally took me three hours to get one bolt in uh, because I just couldn't access it and then when I could access it I couldn't see what I was doing and uh, it just took forever to actually get that first bolt in there but uh, well it's done now and uh, progress is made, it's been a long night unfortunately the pedal box is a very fiddly part of the conversion but um, I booked myself in for this and I'm going to see it through to the end anyway that's it for me tonight hope you're all having a great day I'll see you next time, bye Thank you.